According to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, for many municipal governments, drinking water and wastewater plants typically are the largest energy consumers, often accounting for 30 to 40 percent of total energy consumed. The city of Burnsville conducts a greenhouse gas emissions inventory of city operations every other year. Since 2005, they have reduced emissions for city operations by 28 percent. Much of this reduction is due to more efficient pumping of potable water. Potable water pumping and treatment produces 47% fewer emissions now than in 2005. Through the implementation of several energy efficiency projects, the city of Burnsville is saying so long to greenhouse gas emissions. Burnsville put a new surface water treatment plant online in July 2009 after Burnsville, Savage, and Kramer Mining and Materials worked together to create a collaborative solution that would fulfill all of their water-related needs for the future. We started a collaborative effort with the city of Savage. Um, they needed to drill some additional wells, but their well field area is in the calcareous fen area of the Minnesota River, so they weren't able to drill any more wells. About the same time, Burnsville needed to drill two more wells. Kramer Mining and Materials, they were reaching their 10 million gallon a day dewatering pumping permit with the DNR. So the city of Savage, the city of Burnsville, and Kramer Mining and Materials, we all worked together to come up with a solution to capture some of that water that they were dewatering into the river and use it for a potable water supply. We were able to get some grant funding from the state of Minnesota. So it was a private-public partnership between Savage, Burnsville, Kramer, and the state. Burnsville's water treatment plant has implemented a series of energy saving strategies that have ultimately helped them decrease emissions from potable water pumping and treatment by 47%, all while treating nearly 25% more gallons of water daily. <laughs>
make sure that you have a consultant that is creating your specs, your plans and specs, that's very well versed in, in everything surface water. They know the ins and outs and the good and the bad. Likewise with that, make sure you're vetting the contractors that you're allowing to bid so that your contractors have experience with this type of construction so that they, they understand what you need. Meeting with the consultants and your contractor on a regular basis, um, communication is the key. Through a creative partnership and thoughtful implementation of several energy saving strategies, Burnsville's water treatment facility was able to save significant amounts of energy. Learn more about energy efficiency and clean energy projects and strategies at cleanenergyresourceteams.org.